Hello. Hello. Okay, you can hear me. Yeah. Great. Claudia Maldonado, are you there? I I went in the chat like at 58. <laughs> I've been talking to her. She's not there. I'm here. Oh, there. Um, yeah. Did, I, I was waving at you. <laughs> I'm sorry. I was working in the platform. Oh, okay. Okay. Good. How are you guys? How was your weekend? Mm. Mm, good. <laughs> good. good. Normal. You don't sound very happy. <laughs> Everything was oh, oh, that's okay? Normal. Just a normal weekend. All right. What about you, Carla? How was your weekend, Carla? Hi, it was, it was um, good. Did you do anything special? Nothing special. Well, I paint a wall. <laughs> I am. Uh... Yeah, you know am... me too. Me too. I painted. I painted something like on Wednesday, and I still have paint. Mm -hmm. and it's hard to take it off. I I I guess I'm becoming old. That um, I I got a tire. I painted the tire. I drilled holes in the tire and I put um, a strings. So I made it like a little trampoline for my son. I was so proud. I'm like, wow, I did this. I did this. And my son, he doesn't even like it. <laughs> little booger. How's your weekend, Gio? Yeah, it's a normal weekend. I, I go out, I went out. <sighs> uh, I went to Los Planes. I watching watch movies. When did you go to Los Planes? Um Sunday. Yesterday. Yes. Yesterday. Oh, okay. Yeah. Where'd you go? I was in Los Planes last yesterday. Yeah. I I went to Pupuseria Abby. Abby. Oh, okay. Yeah. What time did you go? Um, it was um, let me see, four four o'clock, four till yeah, six, seven. That's a good time to go up in Los Planes because if you if you if you decide to go to Los Planes at six in the afternoon, goodbye, man. It's yeah. full. Yeah. It's full. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. All right, Ingrid. Welcome. How's your weekend? Fine. Did you I'm do anything great. different? Anything special? Mm, well, I went out with friends on Saturday. Okay, good. Hey, it's raining. Yes, it's, it's raining. Yeah. Is that normal? I, mm, I don't, I don't think, think so. so. <laughs> yeah, it's not normal. It shouldn't be raining. Huh? Mm. Oh, wow. It should be windy. Yeah. You know, yesterday I watched a movie. It's called Rebecca in Netflix. Um, please, please don't watch it. <laughs> because it said it was like a psycho psychedelic thriller and this and that. And actually it was a terrible movie. It was two hours. Of 
So if you know, if you're ever like, hey, what do I watch? What do I watch? Watch anything but Rebecca. <laughs> In, uh, what is uh, what is about that movie? It's what about this, this woman who marries a man, and this man, his wife died, and they were like extremely rich, and they live in a mansion, and. That's it. That was a story. And at the end, they he didn't like her and he killed his wife. It was I was like, really, man? This is it really sucked. Rebecca. Rebecca's the name? The, of Rebecca. The Rebecca. Okay. I'm looking for the um Jaime, how was your weekend? I do. Jaime? I do. Do you remember that commercial? Jaime? Hi. <laughs> I do. I do. Do that what was that commercial for? Thank you. Tank. It was what? Tank. Times. No, tank. 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 Oh, Tang. Tang. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I remember that. Did you do that commercial no. in your company, Gio? No. No. No, I don't like. It. I didn't like it. Is this a commercial? It Is was it? a yeah. It was a long time ago that commercial. Yeah. Is it some is on some propaganda? No, it was a um I don't know, it's a um it's a drink. Ah oh, yeah. We drink like um um instant instant drinking. Mm, yeah, yeah. Like a fresh talk type. <laughs> um one, one thing Jaime, one thing. Um I don't know if the same rule is in Spanish, okay, but in English Propaganda you only use for politics or religion. Not really. I can use I, I can use in technical. I had discussion the some conference with the technical uh, people. How are you? That they use propaganda in English. Too. Okay, but technically, uh, grammatically, no, technically it's advertising. Yeah, I know. No, yeah, I know. It's only for for introduce a new a new a new word and you the the same word, no? Okay, yeah, okay. But to the class in general, in English, I don't know in Spanish, okay. But in English, propaganda. Excuse me, Jaime. Excuse me, Jaime. In not Spanish, not Spanish. Propaganda is used is used use in English. It's accepted. Okay, okay. Thank you. Class in general, in English, when people say propaganda, they usually refer when you say propaganda to religion or politics. Mm -hmm. When it's like something like um, McDonald's, it's called publicity. Publicity. Yeah, yeah, publicity. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. No, just uh, FYI. David, 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 yes, but, but in, in one time I have a in a in a conference. With people from UK, and then mm -hmm. and they use this uh, this uh, this word as a propaganda as a, in English. I don't know. Is it the UK people or the cake that they use? You understand very well. I use a, like a, a like a, like advertising or publicity. In Spanish, some people use it like that too. But then, if you ever ask the question. What is the difference between propaganda and publicity? Well, maybe Gio can give us a, a good explanation. He must know about this. But if you ever ask that famous question, it's like, it's like remember I told you, some people say, can I go to the bathroom? And it's correct. But if you go grammatically, grammatically is, may I go to the bathroom? Maybe, but, but and sometime in was, time I was uh, uh, looking for a, uh, um, uh, a hotel in, in in Miami, but the the the, the attendant uh, the people have a, received the phone call. He said me, okay, okay, I need to look for a, a five 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 star hotel. 
in Miami, but is is uh, some hotel is uh, close to uh, something the commercial or mall or whatever. And then they say, I'm looking for another property. Property. You're looking for another property. Uh huh. Property. Yeah, but it's common to use that property. It's common to use a, 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 like a hotel too. Okay. But but in this case, you said something very important. You were speaking to hotel people. Yeah, I'm thinking, so, I, so when I, you speak when you speak with people related to the hotel, they tend to speak uh, technically. They tend to speak technically. It's like um, it, 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 uh, I'm calling for hotel that town. It's like it's like when you speak with somebody in Spanish. Hey, me necesito, una, necesito el cordón de para conectar la 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 la, la compu. And we understand. But if you ask to a technician, le va a decir, ah no, es el cable de la alimentación. Mm -hmm. You know, and he's speaking technically because that's his area. But like but I, I, I was speaking with people. It's a big, big. Uh, it's a people. I don't know. It's a native speaker in in in, in Miami, no? In, in, okay. In speaking. Yeah. I'm 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 telling him. Okay. You speak Spanish, no? I'm not speaking Spanish. I'm speaking English, only English. But it's a. They use they use this. Uh, it's common to when they have have an, uh, some reservation or have who, a. Who who is they? Who is they, Jaime? What? You say they use this. Who is they? No, they, they, no, they use this, this. Okay, they, people. they, who is they? Who is they? The people. What people? The people have attended me about the, the uh, reservation for, for, for the hotel. The people from the hotel. Yeah. Okay, yes, in this case, it's normal because they're speaking to you in hotel terms. Probably. Yes. Probably, but, but uh, okay, hey, I, hey, I look at what, hey, I'm, 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 right now we have an, another, 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 another property that is, I don't know, you can, it, it's a Sheraton Hotel. But listen, Jaime, if you go and you speak with people from hotel and you speak with people from the street, they will speak totally different. People, normal, normal people, they will say a room. But people that work in hotels- Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm referring to room. Yeah, I'm referring to room, but- Exactly, but it's like when you're speaking with people, they're speaking in, in technical terms, technical hotel terms. So that's, that's why they speak like that. That's why they speak like that. It's Make it the proof. Call to the hotel that count. Okay, I, I guess then yes, you're right. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, Veronica, how are you? Hi, fine, thank you. How was Sorry, your weekend? I'm, I'm late. No, it's all oh, right. Oh, really good. I visited my family in Santa Ana. I visited. I visited my family in Santa oh. Ana this weekend. <laughs> oh, okay, nice. Everything good? Yes, everything is good. <laughs> but now I, I am a little busy with my nails. <laughs> <laughs> with the pedicure. <laughs> I don't know how to say in English that. <laughs> the pedicure? Yeah. How do you say in English that? Pedicure? Or is it the same word? That's good. You know, actually, actually, I think the original word is in English. Pedicure. Mm. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. I think, I think because in English it's pretty good. I think too, but I'm not sure. <laughs> Have you noticed that in Spanish we're adopting a lot of English words like, yeah. like, um, like, like, uh, for, like beautiful, long, beautiful supply, maybe. <laughs> Delivery. <laughs> Delivery. <laughs> yes, yeah, all the words in English. But the, the, Online. the, the funny word that adopted in Spanish is sanitizar. That word does not exist in Spanish. Uh, yeah. What? Sanitizar. 
Okay. And it's a is not exist in Spanish. Is it Spanish. in English? Yes, but, but, it, but it in Spanish, it's saneamiento. Saneamiento, exactly. Higienización or something like that. <laughs> but <Really>? never sanitizar. <laughs> oh, I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's true. Oh, interesting. I learned something new today. Yes, and the people grown say satanizar. That's Satanisa. terrible. <laughs> Satanisa, I like that one. <laughs> Do you know uh, uh, a letter in, in a, a story? The area is satanizada. What? <laughs> oh, yeah, it was, it, it was like a, from like a, a store. <laughs> yeah, in the store. Imagine that. <laughs> And everybody, yeah. <laughs> How come I can't see the, oh, do you see my screen? Nope. No, nope. yet. Just the part. Nope. Yeah, hold on, let me see one thing. Oh, there we go. Okay, tell me if you see it now. I'm gonna share one, two, three. Now, do you see it? Yes. Yes, teacher. Oh, yes, teacher. All right, cool. All right, this is this is actually pretty easy because this is really not very. It's, it's called reactions. Is is the type of reactions you have. Share with us, how do you react when someone forgets your birthday? Learn the following nouns for discussing reactions. An assumption, a criticism, a demand, an excuse, a prediction, a suggestion, a suspicion, a warning. So do you This is it. Okay, listen, um, you know what an assumption is, right? I don't know, teachers. Okay, for me, that was. Okay, look, we have an assumption, a criticism, a demand, an excuse, a prediction, a suggestion, a suspicion, a warning. An assumption is this yes or no, Salvadoreños, we are evil as co workers. Okay. Yes. We can be very good friends. Ah, we had a great party and we drank like hell. We got so drunk, right? So maybe two weeks later, two weeks later, hey, no vino Leo. Where's Leo? Mm, it's Saturday morning, maybe. I, maybe he's drunk. That's an assumption. Te acuerdas que el día que salimos, le gusta chupar, man. <laughs> that, that, yeah, that would be like a reaction, you know. So, yeah, sometimes people are very bad like that. But, you know, that's how you learn. That's an assumption and a criticism, a demand, an excuse, a prediction, a suggestion, a suspicion, a warning. Okay, all these have to match the example. Okay, they have to, they have to match the example. So... Uh, we understand assumption, we understand criticism, a demand, uh, an excuse. You understand prediction, correct? Yeah. You, you understand suggestions, you understand suspicion, and you understand warning. This is probably describing a toxic, a toxic boyfriend or girlfriend. Okay, let's see this. If you do it again, you will have to find a new girlfriend. What do you think this is? Warning. A warning. A warning, maybe. It's a warning, yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. If you do it again, you have to find a new girlfriend. It's a warning. It, can you give me another warning. example of a warning? What was like a typical warning but that you But it you're... depends of the voice. <laughs> <laughs> It depends on the voice, it's true English. <laughs> yeah, if, if, if he wants to change the girlfriend, maybe some <laughs> good advice. 
maybe yeah then then it could be a, a suggestion yeah. you see you want to take my cold you have to find a new girlfriend yeah remember this is subjective so <laughs> it's how you want to take it <laughs> what was what was like a typical warning that you would receive as a child or as a teenager mama ya vengo if you don't came early you don't come at all live with the neighbor but you don't mind if <laughs> the mother is angry or not <laughs> yeah but um veronica you said if you don't came and it's actually yeah. if you don't come ah don't come okay. yes why isn't it is because it's a man uh, good time. question then, because when you say if you uh, -huh. uh you said a negative if you don't come every time you say if you the verb is in simple form okay if you, you go if you come if you were if you are if you like, mm -hmm. if you leave, don't leave now. That was the reason that because my favorite 80s song. Like if you do it again. Song. I'm sorry. Yes. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, Ingrid. It's a really good song. Oh, I love that song. It's really nice. Too. I love it. I love 80s. 80s. Yeah. Pop, pop. 80s pop is the best. I like it. Yes. It's yes, good pop. Yes. Like Duran Duran too. Yeah, I Madonna, really like Michael it. Jackson. Uh huh. The the Norway group. Yes, they were good. Yeah. Culture Club. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah. Okay, so if you, Veronica, if you, and then the verb in simple form. So if you don't come early, don't come at all. Don't come at all. Or do live with your neighborhood. Yeah. Your neighbor. <laughs> uh -huh. If you don't eat that. My mother said that. Uh, leave all of stuff with your neighbor. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, next. I bet you were out with another woman. It's a something. It's a gossip. <laughs> it's a suspicion. Man, that could be a suspicion. I don't know. I that could be a, an assumption. An excuse? <laughs> yeah. You can be so inconsiderate. The criticism. A demand. Criti I, I think that, that, yeah, that's criticizing. You know, when you're telling the person you are being disconsiderate, is you're, yeah, in this case, you're criticizing. Uh, next, mm -hmm. you'll probably forget your annivers our anniversary too. Yeah, it's a toxic woman like, here. Uh, for the <laughs> The 20, uh, 2020 girl here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the man. <laughs> oh, man. I saw this meme. I like that. This woman, she woke up angry. What's wrong? I dreamt that you were with another woman. Who? I don't know who that woman <laughs> is, but if I dreamt it, it's for a reason. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny. Now you can take me out to dinner twice. Demand. Demand or suggest, suggestion? Yeah, suggestion. suggestion yeah. You must have wanted to break up with me. A prediction. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it would be a prediction. Or no, or an assumption. assumption. Yeah. It would be more an assumption. Because you're not predicting, you're like assuming. Assuming, yeah. You know, you ought to buy me flowers. This is a suggestion, maybe. That's a suggestion. A demand. A demand. Or a demand. Yeah, my wife always tells me that, you know, why don't you buy me flowers? And I say, well, we're married, so. Why buy you flowers? It's okay, you must feel really sorry. Excuse. Or again, an assumption. Because every time, remember, we I think we did this last week, 
when like like Leo, hey, where's Leo? He didn't come to work. He must be drunk. Yeah. Why why did you say that? Because did you see him at the party? He drinks like crazy. Mm -hmm. So those are as assumptions. Every time you say you must, remember, oh, remember, it must have been love, but it's over now. <laughs> yeah, that's an as assumption. Hey, she died, Roxette. Yeah. Yes. Okay, so let me see the next step here. So, do you Okay. <clears throat> Introduction. Megan's boyfriend's uh, me uh, blah, Megan's boyfriend forgot her birthday. How does she react? Choose the best example with the reaction. We're going to start with Laura. If you do it again, you will have to find a new girlfriend. What do you think this is? Um A warning. Wait, warning. A warning. Yeah. So remember, every time you say like "if you," you're giving a warning. Mm. And what happens when you have when you give a warning? There's a consequence. Yes. Like remember, like um, who was saying loud? I think. If you don't come, don't come at all. Okay, let me see. Hi, man. Number two, I bet you are out with another woman. Hi, man. What do you think this is? Yeah, yeah. Um, I bet you were out with another woman. Is that no? Suspicion. It's a what? Suspicion. A suspicion and a suspicion here. Okay. Suspicion. Yeah. It can be an, a suspicion. Uh, it could be uh, an assumption also. It could be, yeah, okay. Next, let's see, Elia. You can be so inconsiderate. Elia, you you are inconsiderate. Um, the government is bad. The government is good. Um, Madrid only wins because they buy the titles. What am I doing? It's a criticism, right, class? Yes. Yeah. Mire, esta expresión, you can be so inconsiderate, is, is, is also an expression. It's like in Spanish when you say, a veces soy bien grosero. <laughs> you, you, know, you know that, that expression? Bueno, well, a veces soy so bien, you know, grosero. Todo so. un hecho leña. Uh -huh. In English, you say, you can, you can be so. You can be so insensitive. Okay, so remember that expression, you can be so. And it can be also something nice, you know, like, if you're crying, because the movie was sad, and oh, <laughs> sometimes you can be so sweet. It hurt me, man. Did you see that old lady? Yeah. And the trick is you have to stick your finger in your throat so you, your eyes get watery and then the woman thinks you're crying. <laughs> Tricks. <laughs> All right, Ruth, you will probably forget our anniversary too. A demand. A demand. What is she demanding? 
<laughs> demanding. You think she's demanding? What? Listen to what she's saying. <laughs> you will probably forget our anniversary too. You think she's demanding? A prediction. A prediction. A right. prediction. Okay, the she's predicting. Yeah. Also, an, an assumption could be possible, no problem. Let's see, Claudia, now you have to take me out to dinner twice. I, I really, I could see this woman saying all this. Yes. Uh, you will probably, uh, no, wait, I'm sorry. Honestly. Because now why you, you have to take me out. Mention if that that's a woman, not a boy. What? <laughs> the teacher assumption that as a girl. Why is it not a boy? No, it, you know, <laughs> it, I'm not assuming it is a girl. Of mind, a no, because man. look at the instruction. It says Megan's boyfriend forgot her birthday. Okay. How does she <laughs> react? Ah, okay. Now because I understand. <laughs> if it were the other way, you know, like if somebody forgot my birthday, I would be like, uh. Ah. Oh, I'm sorry. No, it's okay, man. Don't worry about it. No, they're not. No, it's all right. It's cool. <laughs> man, we don't care. But but we will be demanding. Now you will. <laughs> uh, Kiera, now you have to take me out to dinner twice. What do you think this is, Ruth? Um, now you take me out to dinner twice. Is that the man? Yeah, I guess that I can have to. Now you have to. Is that the man? Yes. A demand? Okay. It's a demand. Okay, let me see here. Carla, you must have wanted to break up with me. Um, you must have wanted to. Uh, an assumption? Uh, a suspicion? Uh, a suspicion, maybe. You think it's a suspicion? All right. Suspicious. Six. Have you heard that song from Elvis Presley, Suspicious Mind? It's a good no. song. We're caught in a trend. I can walk out. I love Elvis Presley. Okay, next. You know you ought to buy me flowers. Ingrid? Mm. Uh, a demand. <laughs> okay, let's, let's see a demand. Okay, esta es, esta es otra expresión. You know you ought to. This is the expression in Spanish. ¿Sabes qué mejor? Comprame. When you're angry. You know, and that person, why, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. ¿Sabes qué mejor? No vamos a ir a cenar, pero mejor pedir comida. <laughs> you know, that expression is when you say, you know what? You ought to uh, buy takeout. These are expressions too, okay? It's okay. You must feel really sorry, Sandra. Um, assumption? Yeah, it's an assumption. Maybe in, in teacher, maybe in seven could be a um, suggestion. Yeah, I would say more you ought to because you're suggesting. Mm -hmm. You're not mm -hmm. demanding because demanding will you have to. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see. I know I got one wrong. Ooh. It's okay. You must feel really sorry. It's an assumption. Yes. Wait, how many did we get wrong? Two? Okay, so you must have wanted to break up with me. It's not a suspicion. It's an assumption. So this will be assumption. an assumption. Yes. And this one would be suspicion, an excuse, right? An excuse. An excuse. Oh, yeah, an excuse.
good. Laura, is that is that your house, or are you on a motorcycle? That sounds cool. In my house, sorry. No, no, it's okay. It sounds cool. It sounds like you you are on a on a bike. Okay, we're going to do this little reading here. Let me see. Okay, it says, look at the picture. What do you think the blue lights are? What do you think the blue lights are? Well, things like fire in front of the thumb. Yeah, we see we see blue lights here. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going no, here. We have somebody here. Read. Let me see. Sandra, can you read the first paragraph, please? We have one, two, three, four paragraphs. Sandra, can you read the first one, please? Or the first two? Okay. Today, the town of Silver Clark, Colorado, has a population of only 100 people. Once. 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 Ah, okay. Okay, mm -hmm. once Hunger, it was a prosperous meaning town where thousands came with dreams of finding silver and making their fortune. Okay, good. But listen to this, it's very important that you read the commas too. Okay. Because it says once, however, it was a, it was a prosperous mining town. Okay. okay. Is uh, the pronunciation here is however. However. Yes. However. Prosperous mining town. Do you know what a mining town is, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay, where thousands of people came with big dreams and finding silver, making their fortune. Okay, can you continue, please, Sandra? Okay. Okay. A moment. And. Okay. Late on night. In, late one night. Late one night in 1880, a group of miners were hit back to their camp after a good time in town. They were still laughing and joking as they approached. Approached? Approached. 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 Mm -hmm. Approach the greater on a hill outside Silver Creek. Okay, good. Do then, you understand? Do you understand here what is what is a graveyard? Yes, is that the cemetery? Cemetery, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, okay there. Then one of the men yelled and appointed toward the graveyard. The other fell silent. On top of Ed Gray, they saw flung like blue light. This eighty light seemed to be dancing on the grave, disappearing and then appearing again. Yeah. Who knows what this man smoked, right? Yeah. Um, um, Imagine they were coming back from a party, like having a fun night, and then they saw dancing lights on the graveyard. Yeah, it must it's have been a, a great good, party. <laughs> there must have been a really good party. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, thank you. Jaime, can you continue, please? Okay. This was the first. Hi, May, are you there? Hello. Hi, can you continue, please? Yeah, what part? Uh, where it says, this was the first sighting. This what, is what the first si uh, si signing, sighting? Sighting. Sighting of the blue light 
of Silver Cliff. There have been many other sightings over the year. In 1989, Le Le Ed Edward Leighan from National Geographic magazine visited the graveyard. Le Leymar article tell of his experiences. I saw them dim around around a spot of blue of blue white light glow entirely among the graves. I stepped forward for the better look. They managed and aim my flash flashlight at one eighty glow and and switch it Switch it, switch it on. I revealed it. I revealed, revealed. It revealed. Tombstone. A tombstone. Okay. Tombstone. Okay. Thank you. In this, in this class, uh, do you know what dim is? Do you know what dim? Okay. It says, look, dim round spots. What is dim? When the light is like very low. Not not, not too strong. <laughs> low. Yeah. yeah, it's the contrary of bright. Uh -huh. The contrary of bright, this is bright, like oh man. And then this is dim. Okay? Sure, uh, uh, bright is as the same, it has the same meaning as shine or not. Actually, for light, electricity, we say bright. Shine is shine is more considered for reflection. Like diamonds. Like, uh huh. It's like a black. I'm sorry. It's like a black that the when the light is not is not is like a black. Like oh. a black. I don't understand. Like it would be if there is dark, a light. dark, dark, dark. Dim, dim is like when you go to the movies and when the movie finishes and you walk, the you never see the lights. There's all, the the lights are always very low, like dim. In an airplane, the, I'm sorry. Um, there is a Rihanna song that and uh, she's. Things that shine bright like a diamond is uh, uh, the I don't know how to say it. Um, grammatically is is uh, is correct or not? Um, yes, but the only thing is that like diamonds don't shine; they reflect, and, and uh. people always get that wrong because diamonds don't shine. It's a reflection you see, not a shine. Shine is like from a reaction. Shine is when the light hits something. Se ve el brillo. Shine is brillo. Mm. But bright is la luz, like the sun is bright. The sun is bright and shiny. <laughs> Porque mm -hmm. también brilla. Yeah, they always criticize Rihanna for that song, Shine Bright Like a Diamond. <laughs> yeah, and they told her, like, you know, hey, uh, diamonds don't shine, they reflect. And you know what? Honestly, I didn't know that. <laughs> All right, so we have dim round spots of blue, white light glowed. What is glow? Glow. It's come Como un aura. Yeah. yeah. Algo dif difuso. Yeah, glow in the dark. It's like something you see in the dark. Okay, and I'm going to finish the last paragraph. It says, Lineham and others have suggested various explanations uh, for the lights. The lights might have been reflections of lights from the town. But Silver Cliff's uh, lights seem to dim to have their effect. They could have been caused by radioactive ore. 
though there is no evidence of radioactivity. They may also have been uh, by gases from nodding matters. This usually happens in swamps. However, and the area around Silver Cliffs dry or perhaps the lights are from helmets of dead miners wandering the hills in search of their fortune. That could have, I, I think the last one would be logical. Uh, yeah. The lights from the helmets. Yeah. So people, in the, yeah, they went out to look, for, you know, for mind at night. So from a distance, people say, oh my God, look, you see lights. Or they must have been very drunk. And they say and dead miners. Dead miners, yeah. <laughs> oh, from dead miners. <laughs> That's not true. Oh, yes, it's true. Huh? From helmets from dead miners. <laughs> This is similar to San Francisco. Do, do you know the story of San Francisco? Why San Francisco is very famous? Um, do you know the football the football team of San Francisco? Do you know what the, the, the number, uh, the name is? 49ers. Yes. Do you know why it's called 49ers? Mm -mm. Um, it's because in 1849... There was the gold fever in San Francisco. Like there was gold everywhere. And many people from the world m migrated to San Francisco. That's why San Francisco for me is one of the most beautiful cities I have visited because it has a lot of culture, a lot different, different mm -hmm. cultures. I it would like the, to visit. It is, it's, it's, very, it's, it's very artistical, very hippie-ish. And because it has uh, many people from the world migrated to San Francisco looking for gold in the gold rush. Mm. That's why they're called 49ers and that's why they're, mm. the, the color is gold mm. yeah. because of 1849. And so a lot of people stayed, stayed there. There's a, there's a street called La Misión. It's really nice. It's Salvadoreños. That, that's, that's like really, you're, you're in El Salvador right there. And, and you know it's kind of nice because there's like a lot of pupuserias and and you see a lot of people, Chinese, black people, everybody eating pupusas. It's cool. Mm -hmm. Have you been in New York? No, I would love to go to New York though. Mm -hmm. To walk in the street. I would like back to be in December. I I would like to to see the middle ball. I oh. think I, I am crazy because it's very cold and. But I would like to see it. <laughs> yeah, but remember, you can always fight the cold. Hot is that it's more difficult to. Mm, I don't know how to say. Soy bien frío lenta. inútil con el frío. Oh, really? <laughs> yes. No, but I, you're nothing like some people from San Miguel. Uh, yeah, it's very hot. Yeah. No, when I lived in San Miguel, like for two years, I promise you, I, I remember my first class was at seven in the morning. So I woke up maybe at five in the morning and it was not cold. It was cool. It was like, oh man, I wish it were like this. You know, like, oh, it's nice. <laughs> you know, and it was funny because, I mean, but it's like eight in the morning in San Salvador. Eight in the morning in San Salvador is five in the morning in San Miguel. Eight in the morning, still not hot, but it's okay, you know. And people there were dramatical because when I would go and I see people like in the bus, I swear people have scarves and, and sweaters and jackets because of, the... too bad there were no camera. I mean, there was no smartphones in that time. Like, oh my god, this is so unbelievable. Because they were like cold, like, oh my god, oh my god. Um, I had full air, air conditioning in my classes always, and they always tell me, Can you please turn off the air conditioning? And I said, No, I'm sorry, it's study direct. No, it was a lie. <laughs> it was great, it was too hot. <laughs> I remember you take a shower, and when you're changing, 
you're sweating again. <laughs> so maybe, I don't think you're that bad, Ingrid. Maybe. <laughs> okay, mm -hmm. so listen. Today, the town of Silver Cliff has a population of 100 people. Fact or opinion? That's a fact. That's a fact. Yeah. The miners saw flame-like blood into... Blah. The yeah. miners saw a flame-like blood light on top of each grave. Yeah, that's fact. a fact. Fact. <laughs> Edward Lineham suggested various explanations for the lights. The lights were actually a reflection of the lights from the town? Mm, opinion. Opinion. Yeah, that was a, that's definitely an opinion. There was no evidence of radioactivity. That's a fact. fact. That's a fact. The lights were from the helmets of dead miners. Opinion. 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 Cool. There are stories like that here in El Salvador, huh? when you go to pueblos. You know, they, there's always like a padre sin cabeza, mm -hmm. or the, there's always a man who fought a, a bear. <clears throat> Have you noticed that when you go to pueblos, like there, there's always somebody that, or one time a tiger came and this man bit him with a machete and <laughs> but the Siwanava, the Siwanava is Salvadorian, right? Yeah. Or is Mexican? No, La Llorona is Mexican. No, but, but in the town, there is a, no, no, no is Siwanava, there is a, a woman that appears in, in the streets. And, 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 but in the vocabulary, is, if you see it, usted que, podía quedar jugado. <laughs> I didn't understand. Yeah. I didn't understand yeah. what is the meaning. <laughs> I don't know, but the people say that. Yeah. And a cold. Uh -huh. Fever, cold. Fever, cold. Uh -huh. And maybe you you will be um, crazy. Maybe panic attacks is, is <laughs> probably the the people <laughs> live that. I like it's listening good. to the stories because it's, it's it's entertaining. In the in the another is another I don't know is a a CPT or. No, you know what's funny? Um, there was a man. He has worked with my family for a long time. So he, he sometimes he comes and cuts the grass in my house. And his name is Natividad. And um, one time my, my son, he was maybe one or one and a half. And, and you know, and Nati, he, he would, you know, my son was like looking at him. What, what was he doing, you know, with the machete and the, and Nati, come here, help me, help me. And he was giving him the machete, like, no, Nati, it's it's okay. <laughs> and no le deje machete. Oh, okay, 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 yeah. Se puede cortar, but yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's a big possibility that he can cut his finger or arm off. But the funny part was that he told me, y mire, ya aún tiene la mollera. And I said, what do you mean? He says that in his town, before children turn two years old, you have to go to this wizard, wizard, un curandero, and they get the child with the head down and they start hitting him, boom, on the feet. Que le baje la mollera. And I said, oh my God. Por eso que son jugaditos, Ingrid. <laughs> And my wife was listening, and my wife was in shock, like, oh. I said, no, man. 
So I always bother my wife. Hey, look, let's go out on a date. Digamos la que que cuida el niño. No, you're crazy. You're crazy. And and, and poor Nati, he, he always says, si quieren me lo dan, yo lo puedo llevar en el señor. Yo, okay, ahí te aviso, Nati. Thank you. You know, those are stories from pueblos. His daughter is blind. And his son is mute. Mudo. So, um, maybe that's for, for yeah. doing that. Para curarlo del empacho, dicen. Del empacho. El ojo es funny. Lo colgaban así de, de, de los pies y lo que empezaban a sobar con un montón de cosas así de aceites y todo eso. ¿no? Yeah. Le echaban humo de puro. Sí. <laughs> sí. Mm. Or oh, there was Baños. one that they put on your, like, newspaper on your ear. Huh? Baños de ruda. <laughs> yes. A las 5 de la mañana. Con huevos crudos, huevos crudos de gallina, ¿no? <laughs> no, but you know, that's culture. That, that's that's kind of cool. And I think that's disappearing little by little. Yes. El problema de, 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 los, de los jugaditos, ¿no? <laughs> <laughs> no, but you know that culture is disappearing little by little because I don't know if I told you once, remember like 15 years ago, you wouldn't hear a child. I'm estoy hablando de un niño de clase baja, se puede decir. ¿Se acuerdan nosotros que estábamos? That we were happy with eggs and beans for breakfast and pan con margarina and, and salt. Mm -hmm. And now, but nobody says, a mamá se me pancakes. <laughs> and now it's like something normal. I remember when I was like 15 and Ay, pancakes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like you were rich if you ate pancakes. <laughs> now you see pancakes and la de, like la, la señora de pica vende pancakes. Uh -huh. <laughs> like, ¿qué tiene señora? I have bread, I have bread, you know, I have eggs, I have this, I have pancakes, hot cakes. Yeah. Deme dos panes con queso y un pancake. <laughs> Imagine that mix. All right, before we go, let's listen to this. Conversation. It says, listen to the conversation, check the correct answer. Bef um, okay, so let's hear it. No, again. Okay. Oh, no. Refresh. Somebody told me why we refresh it and. There. <clears throat> There's no sound. The problem of internet came back. We don't hear anything, teacher. I'm sorry? We He's don't muted. hear anything. Are you serious? Yeah. Yeah, yeah and I can't see nothing. Oh my God, and I'm like, oh. <laughs> and see it only you, and you know, I'm only. <laughs> Oh my God, I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> okay, can you, can you see it now? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I see it. Yeah. I can see. My bad. ¿Saben cómo qué es eso? My bad. Es como decir, oh, oh mi culpa. Mm -hmm. So you can say, oh, oh, I'm sorry, my bad, my bad. Can you hear? Yeah. 
Más, más de, de, de Oreo, ¿no? Okay, can you hear? No, not working. Um, I was really immature. Uh -huh. You know, I should have won. Okay. Mom, when did you get your first car? Well, by the time I was a junior in high school, I had gotten a part-time job so that I could buy a used car. But you won't let me get a part-time job. I know, but before I got my first job, I was really immature. You know, I should have spent more time trying to get good grades instead of trying to get a car. You didn't get good grades? Well, I almost didn't graduate at the end of my senior year. Luckily, a school counselor noticed what was happening. He said I'd be able to buy any kind of car I wanted after I finished college and got a good-paying job. So he helped you get your priorities straight? Yes. A diploma was more important than a car. Two. Now I understand why you won't let me get a job. Good. That's my boy. However, I'm still interested in hearing about what else you did or didn't do in high school. Do you have any other regrets? Well, if I'd been more serious about school, I wouldn't have taken classes like theater production. I should have taken more college-required classes. Do you mean like higher math classes? Exactly. And that's why I'm so concerned about the courses you choose. I want you to have no regrets when you graduate next year. Three. Gosh, Tess. Have you noticed how many coffee shops there are around campus these days? Well, Austin, there are at least five, and each one has a different atmosphere, lighting, furnishings. I don't know how they all stay in business. Sounds normal to me. In order to be successful, it's important to have all those things, plus great drinks and snacks. And it has to be different from the rest. I guess you're right. And don't forget good music. Yes, I agree. There's one place I like best. It's called Jazzy's, and they only play jazz music. And you like that? Sure. It's my favorite kind of music to study by. Four. How about you, Tess? Where do you go? Me? Well, I love the roasted bean because I always get a perfect latte. The roasted bean? Where's that? On College Avenue. It's the most popular coffee bar near campus because of its great mix of music. The most popular, huh? Yeah. And for it to stay that way, it needs to attract new customers. So let's go and I'll buy you a coffee, Austin. Uh, thanks, Tess, but I don't drink coffee. But you were... Okay, chai tea then. Let's go. All right, before Patrick's mom finished high school, she... Almost, you... almost didn't graduate. She almost didn't graduate. Almost didn't graduate. If Pat Patrick's mom had been more serious in high school, she would have... Taken higher level classes. Higher level classes. Higher level classes. Taking higher level classes. To establish a popular coffee bar, Tess and Austin agree it's important to play good music. Play good music. Mm -hmm. Austin surprises Tess by saying he doesn't drink coffee. Doesn't drink coffee, imagine. Yeah. <laughs> that is a scene. No, it's not that. <laughs> the girl invited him and he said, No, I don't drink coffee. Like, oh, God. <laughs> Maybe Austin is not only coffee okay. he doesn't like. <laughs> 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 okay, instructions. Let's, let, let's finish the second one and we go. Instructions. Listen to the conversation. Check the correct answers. Yeah, again. <laughs> Uh 
Oh, did I skip it? No. One. Okay, Ben. I think everything is ready for the party. What time did you tell everyone to show up? Oh, around 7.30 or 8. Great. Are Ellen and Walter coming? Well, I guess so. I sent Walter a text. Oh, no. Walter never checks his phone. You should have talked to him. I didn't really think about it. Texting is just more convenient for me. But you work with Ellen. You could have invited her at work. I'm sorry. I thought Walter would read the text message. I'm going to try to call them right now. Two. You know, Regina, I'm really fed up with Jessica. Why is that? She seems like a pretty nice person. In fact, I really enjoy working with her. She tells entertaining stories. Well, she does everything she can to impress the vice president. She's so polite to him, and she even baked him a chocolate cake on his birthday. Oh, I certainly wouldn't have done that. I think she's trying to get a promotion. Hmm. That's a very big assumption, Martin. Don't forget that she's nice to everyone, not just our boss. Ellen and Walter probably won't be at the party because... Ben sent a text message to Walter. All right, Martin thinks that Jessica shouldn't have... Why? <laughs> she needs a promotion. Yeah. <laughs> In a polite way, it's joy. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you are thinking yeah. another word, but the promotion. Educated word. Educated for sure. word, yeah. <laughs> she's, she's the teacher's pet. <laughs> <laughs> worse than that, but well. Yeah, <laughs> way worse than that. <laughs> okay, class, thank you very much. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Okay, thank you. See you Have a great day. Great night. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.